Having faith towards God's will is our topic today. Having faith towards God's will. Any faith you have absent the will of God will not yield positive. But once you have faith in his will concerning your destiny, it must all go well. Everything you must do on earth, you ask, is it your will, Lord? Your faith outside God's will only leads you to destruction. You must know this. The power of life and the power of death is in our tongue, but being controlled by God. When God predestined man will die, nobody should pray for the next second. I said this long ago, but many did not understand me. I said, if it's the will of God for it abide to be called home now, I said, don't pray for me for any addition of years. For any addition you will add to me through mercy, through sympathy, will lead to creation in life. God has never had evil plan to any of his children. If 1 Samuel 2 from verse 6 to 7 says, this God is the one that kills. This God is the one that makes alive. This God is the one that brings you down to the grave. This God is the one that raises us up from the grave. This God is the one that makes poor. This God is the one that maketh rich. Any group he has grouped you, don't be in a haste. Look up here. If God has enriched me the way he did now, I won't know who are my enemies say. He break you down for a minute to teach you some certain things. There are so many things we don't understand. Human tendency is this. We are in a haste to ask why. We are in a haste to ask why. 2004, I saw a bit of a child and I said, ah. And my spirit, I told you, my spirit told me, behold your wife. You can't see a quiet woman like that and not say, this is a beautiful woman. And I don't know woman, that was the first one I've ever knew. But my mother stood her ground and said, no. I am the person angel told you have arrived. And I'm telling you now that the angel said no. All the struggle I struggled for, where are they? For 17 years. But in two years, what happened? Don't be in a haste. Ask God, is this your will? Stop crying and say you are backward. I used my life to be people. Don't be in haste. Don't be in haste. Are you lacking joy now? God permit it. Are you lacking comfort now? God permit it. Because whatsoever he does not permit can never happen. He said in the book of Jeremiah 29, 11, that the plan he has for you and I is good and not evil. If God slow your career or your business, don't be in a haste to blow your trumpet. Go to prayer, ask him, Father, why? Did you permit this? If yes, to your name alone be other glory. It was the will of God for Hezekiah to die. It is his will. In Hezekiah, in Isaiah 38, from verse 1 to 5, it is his will. How? He told prophet Isaiah, in those days, Hezekiah was sick and near dead. And Isaiah the prophet, the son of Amos, went to him and said to him, no be me send myself, God send me. 
Thus says the Lord, set your house in order, for you shall die and not live. Then Hezekiah now, because of pressure of life, his own selfish gain, if he believed God, he will not beg for addition of years. He never believed God. He believed in his own certainty. He believed his own selfish interest. And we serve a compassionate God that will give you. But at the end, he will say, I told you. Then Hezekiah turned his face towards the wall and prayed to the Lord. And said, remember now, O Lord, I pray, how I have walked. He presented his argument in Isaiah. Remember how I have walked before you in truth and with a loyal heart and have done what is good in your sight. And Hezekiah wept bitterly. And the word of the Lord did what? The word of the Lord came to Isaiah saying, Isaiah, he has presented arguments. Go and tell Hezekiah. Thus says the Lord now, because I give you an option, you say this option. I am the God of a father, David. I have heard your prayer. I have seen your tears. God is answering this prayer with a sentiment. I've heard your prayer. I've seen your tears. Surely, I will add to you days. 15 years. But is it my wish? Hezekiah Mba. In Isaiah 39, if you read from verse, is it 3 to 5 or from verse 5 to 7, if I'm not mistaken? He said, then Isaiah, the prophet, went to the king, to King Hezekiah, and said to him, what did these men say, and from where did they come to you? So Hezekiah said, they came to me from, from a far country, from Babylon. And he said, after God have added more years, 15 years for him, what have they seen in your house? So Hezekiah answered, they have seen all that is in my house. There is nothing among my treasure that I have not showed them. Five. Then Isaiah said to Hezekiah, Here now, that was what God saw to call you back home. But you refused. You cried. You chose your will, not the will of God. Here now, from the word of the Lord of hosts, behold, the day are coming when all that is in your house and what your father has accumulated unto this day shall be carried to Babylon. Nothing shall be left. Hezekiah saw the doom of his life. He saw the doom of his life. If late prophets, Tim Joshua was still alive, with all what is being done now, closing all his social platform, sir, he will be struck down. I know what it takes with humility to gather people, to create a website, take time, being on a view channel, praying, talking, so that you'll be adding view and over from nothing, one million people will be crushed. Forget it. In Isaiah 57, from verse 1 to 2, why God called the righteous home before time? Because he doesn't want them to, to lose all the good things they have struggled for. He said, the righteous perish and no man takes it to heart. Merciful men are taken away. Why no one consider that the righteous is taken away from evil? God took the righteous away from evil so they will not see evil. He shall enter into peace. They shall rest in their bed. Each one walk in his uprightness. God called them back home. God saw Hezekiah. He saw how he has laboured in righteousness. And God doesn't want all his good to be perished in his eyes. God said, set your bed. I want to call you home. But Hezekiah said, I don't want the will of God. I want my will. Anything you must do on this earth, first inquire the will of God. Everything Ritaba is doing, he always asks, Father, is this your will? If it's not your will, I don't need it. It is only his perfect will that will lead you to supernatural success. My mentor, Jesus, has the power 
to lay his life and have the power to continue living. But look at, he asked God, is it your will? He has the power. Somebody will say, no, 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 Jesus has the power. He has the power. He has the power. In John 10, from verse 18, he has the power to lay down his life. He said, no one takes it from me, but I lay it down of myself. I have power to lay it down, and I have power to take it again. This commandment I have received from my father. God gave Jesus the power to lay down his life. God gave him the power to continue living. But Jesus never looked on all those things. He concentrated on God's will because he knew his father's will is the best will. In Luke 22, from verse 42 to 46, he asked his father, saying, Father, if it is your will, take this cup away from me. Take this problem away from me. Nevertheless, not my will. You see where Ezekiah felt it? Jesus knew that his father might have mercy and remove the cup. He now said, no, don't look at, uh, don't pity me. Oh. You had it now. But Ezekiah did not utter such a word. He said, nevertheless, oh, not my will, oh, but your will be done. No matter how hard it is, I need your will to be done. What happened? Then an angel appeared to him and strengthened him. What God do is to strengthen you in trial and temptation he permits to come to you. He doesn't give temptation, but he permits temptation. And when you are passing under the temptation of the will of God, he sent people, he sent men in form of an angel to strengthen you. Look up here. Don't say because you are 45, 35, 25, and you jump into marriage that is not the will of God. Don't because your mother is chasing you, your brothers is chasing you, people are mocking you, and you jump into what is not the will of God. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Look up here. Let it be slow, but let it be short. Believe me, I come because of what people are thinking, saying about me. I will not go and commit to ritual money that I will not sit down to enjoy. I will not sleep in my house. If you are sleeping, you will be hearing abnormal noises. Think about it. Because those that will chase you out of God's will will not be around you when the trauma will come. Please understand these things. All those that were advising me when my temptation was. Many advised me wrongly, many advised me rightfully. If I have chosen the wrong one, now me and my wrong problem go day to day. Please understand these things. Don't be in a haste. Don't say, oh, my younger sister has married, I have not married. What kind of a thing is this? What kind of a thing is this? Oh? Huh? I see near Juliet. After Senior in Juliet. I see not the one with Senior Juliet. Now three of them won't marry. Not only me go remain. Please, I preach with my own blood children. Because I know my own will not get angry. I'm just teaching. And before you know it, she will not go and pick anyhow. Don't be nice. The mouth is made to talk. Let them say whatever they want to say. Always ask God, is it your will? Don't say, hey, I'm the only son of my mother and my mother is suffering, my family are suffering, let me do what the guys are doing and make it. No, everyone has different stars and different destiny. Somebody can go to Yahoo Yahoo and come back. You can go, you might not come back. Somebody can go and do 419 and come back. You can go, you might not come back. Somebody can go to position and come back. You can go, you cannot come back. Everyone has different stars and destiny. There are people going to outside country is their star. Why there are people is not their star. There are people that will go to outside country in three months, six months they have blue. Why others will be there. 30 years they have not done anything. You should not envy the person. There is always a set time. There is always an appointed time. There is always the day the sun is set to shine for you. Please understand these things. I will not say because I am favored, 
There are many of my spiritual sons and daughters in the Lord. They are 30 years in ministry. I will not boast with it. But many of them that are 30 years in ministry, in marriage, I'm their senior. But look at their children. Will I envy them? Everyone has what God has destined him at that appointed time. Never you be in a haste. Always ask God, what is your will? Many of you here are into a situation that God never permitted. There are many of you here, women, God never permitted you to marry at this time. But you jump into it. Because peradventure, first two thoughts have disappointed you, second have disappointed you, and you say, Kai, let me prove them wrong. And you jump into it. Don't prove anybody wrong. You don't have anything to prove anybody wrong. You are the best of who you are. And you are the best of yourself. Always wait at the will of God. Because his will is the perfect will. In the name of Jesus the Christ. Because you have waited patiently. This will shall be a perfect will for you. Let that amen roll like thunder. Paul said. I can do all things. Only if Jesus approves it. I can do all things if Jesus approves it. Look at what he says in Philippians 4 30. I can do all things, but did Jesus approve it? If God did not approve it, approve it means he will strengthen you. Rita Ba is building three story, two story, building house in less than five months. Let me go. No, he approved it. That is why he strengthened me. All strength are not equal. All strength are not equal. Heaven knows I've advised some of my children that we're here when we were building houses. I told them, don't rush. I told them, slow down. Why? That was when I preached the Zerubbabel anointing. I said, I was born with Zerubbabel anointing. Everything you see, sir, is through the finger. Hand of God. I have never started a project that is of God and stopped. I wanted to call them to stop. I say, if I ask them to stop, God has been defeated. By them, they say, Daddy, they want to come and rest for one month. Yes. Look at them. It's just plenty remaining. All the projects. Now, work, work is still going on. Now, somebody will ask, is it by this power? No. It is his will. Yes. I can do all things only if he, he approves. That is why Apostle Paul said, I can do all things through Christ that do what? Strengthen. Strengthen means if he approve. Yes, sir. How can you carry a pot of flour? You don't have the strength. Can you carry it? Yes, that means he has not approved it. Don't do because another person is doing. No. Your strength is not my strength. There are capacity of strength, there are capacity of weight. No matter how gymnastic power I have, it is foolishness for me to go and meet dancing. To do boxing. Well, it, am I okay? We should understand this. If your younger sister is settling down, this is what I'm telling you. The mother did not meet me. The sister did not meet me. I was praying yesterday. Your elder sister, the one that said, no, Juliet. She, yesterday, call her and ask her. She was there thinking. Say, oh God, what have I done? This one married. This one married. When will you remember me? Why did I enter to scream her? I have not stayed with her 101. I don't even know her. I don't even know her. But that is the cry you will cry. God has no option that to open up our ears. Why don't I sleep? Your cry is disturbing me. Because I am just an instrument. You see why sometimes he will send message through me to preach. People say they need prophecy, but I have prophesied through the word I'm teaching. Yes, sir. Through the word I'm teaching. He has solved it. He has encouraged you. He has encouraged you. The only thing you need to do is to say, God, I am waiting for your will. Job said in Job 14, 14 I will wait till my change come. I will wait till my change come. Wait. Wait. Don't be in haste. Please understand these things. Wait for God's will. 
Ask him, Father, is it your will? Don't rush into another person's will. Agameche, until when he destined that I will make it, then I will make it. If he didn't destine it, I will leave it like that. You wait. God's will. God's will. For you to walk under God's will, you must give God all your attention. No man walk under his will without giving him his attention. Your attention. Proverbs 4 verse 20. Why am I walking under his will? I give God all my attention. He tells me what to do and what not to do. He said, my son, give attention to my words. Incline your ear in my saying. That is when you can hear my word and obey my will. There are so many things I would like to do. I will go and inquire. Father, is it your will? Is it your will? Why have you not asked yourself? In every project your church starts, we don't stop. Before I go into anything, I ask him, is this your will? His will is a perfect will. No matter what you are passing through, don't be in a haze. Because no man has ever succeeded by directing his own steps. Jeremiah 10, 23. No man has ever succeeded by directing his own steps. He said, oh Lord, I know the way of man is not in himself. It is not a man who walks to direct his own steps. For you to excel in God's will, you must obey his divine instruction. And divine instruction is by doing what? Obeying his will. What is your will, O Lord? 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 Everything that has beginning has an end. Believe me. I always say it. I never believe my errand of trauma we end so fast or so soon. Believe me, sir. I keep on saying it. People think I'm boasting. It's with, with all humility. My coming to this level is too fast. But I know I will come to this level. But I never expected this so soon. No. No. Honestly. Every morning I stay on that punch. I view all the things here view the things outside, view the school, view the companies, I always ask myself, who are you? We, let's leave pride. Who pride who? Have they give anybody food? I'm only telling you the truth. I only obey his will. Follow it sheepishly. The trauma come, temptation come. But I keep on following. I keep on following. And look at my obedience to his will. Look at where he's leading me. If I was told that in a tickle of one year and I will be a father of addition of four. Ha, 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 how? Please, let's leave a hypocrite. How? Even if I'm a factory-fitted manufacturing machine. How? But I keep on saying... Let me continue flowing this God. At the end of his tournament, we shall say, Sir, you won't understand what I passed May you never understand what I passed through, even, sir. May you never understand what I passed through. May you never understand it. Because it's like a state of anarchy. Madman. Totally mad. I'm not, totally off. But the only thing is just, I have this, this grace or wisdom God gave me, I can cover up. But if I show you my medical reports, you say, what? Totally off. But I look onto this God. Look at it. Be patient. Always ask God, this thing I am passing through, is it your will? Is it your will? Not my will. Let your will come to pass. Please take your seat. Amen. Let your will come to pass. Matthew 6 verse 10. 
For you to be directed by God, you must allow his will in your life to come. Matthew 6, verse 10. He said, your kingdom come, your will be done on earth. As it is in heaven, I need your will. Let your will be done. The daily bread you promised me, it is enough. God never promised me supernatural success, but he took a covenant with me of my daily bread. A madman on the street must definitely get his daily bread every day. Allow him to lift you. Never seek of your own will, but always seek the will of God. Do you like the way you had? Now, I don't know what the big lawyers have told him. Please, I'm not here to spoil people's business. But I'm here to tell you this. When I say I'm, I'm a supernatural, it's not me. The word I speak is, is God. You know, now I normally explain things because mentality of people are so low. Amen. Because the will of God surpasses every will. The will of God surpasses every will. In John 5, 30, Jesus said it there clearly. He said it there clearly. He said, I can of myself, look at it. I can of myself do nothing. I can't do anything. As I hear, I judge. And my judgment is what? Is truth, is righteous. Because I do not seek my own will, but I seek the will of my Father who sent me. God's will. One of my sons is not a member. He has never been a member. He's just uh, a worker. The aluminum, what's his name? The guy that do aluminum. No, the guy that do aluminum, window. Is it David, the one that do window, bar? Yes. Ernesta. Okay. Ernesta came and met me yesterday. I was telling him, he said, Papa. He said his brother in outside country, he showed him the house. His brother said, so you have a prophet like this, and you're begging me for money. <laughs> and I told him, am I your prophet? He looked at me. I said, when I advise you, not to marry that northern man. Did you hear me? He looked at me. He said, no, sir. I said, what I told you four years ago, how are you enjoying it? He said, his brother told him that a second option, that he should come to the village, they will marry another wife for him. <laughs> I told him, I said, did I tell you this when my late wife was alive in the school? He said, yes. He said, did I give you money? I said, this picture, this plateau you show me, we not all go well. He said, yes. I said, everything I told you, yesterday, outside there, I said, everything I told you, has it come to pass? He said, yes. I said, now, what is it? You wanted your will. There are so many of us, sir. God might give you a husband that is like this. But because you are a beautiful woman, tall, elegant, and you felt it does not befit your statue, and you go after your own will, a man that is like this, and you keep on receiving beating till death, you choose after your will. I preach with myself. If you will learn, learn. If you don't learn, it's none of them. My mother, she's watching me. She told me, um, if I can use myself to preach, I love you. No, you think I need a shame? I need a shame. But I love your interest much more. My mother told me, as a woman, do not go to this place. All of you had it. Over her dead body, I said, me move my dead body. I preached it. They did. It was about to be over my dead body. But when she came, she said, this one, yes. I said, no, 
She said, yes. And I asked yourself, are you a fool? The one you said yes, where were you? I now prayed, I had God. If she is not holy, that is my mother, I will not send you through her womb. If Jesus will obey the will of his mother, in John 2, from verse 5, to do what he knows might not be right, turning water into wine, he did it. And it all go well. Why can't you? Do you know, I told my wife, I said, be paying my mother salary every week. 50,000 every week. Why? For obeying God's perfect will for my life. I'm not here to blow trumpets. But I'm here to tell you, don't jump into conclusion. No matter how powerful man of God you are, you can lack one thing or the other. I can advise you through his word. He might not speak to me to advise myself. But he will speak to another to advise me. My father here, when I was, he has, God sent him. Please, sir, stand up. I know you are of age. Sir, with humility. Yes, sir. God bless you, sir. My father here, God sent him a day after the incident of my trauma. God sent him to me. When I was in the medium of crying, I was crying in my room. He told security, I want to see my son. The security deprived him. He told Engineer Gulag, I want to see the prophets. Engineer Gulag brought him inside. When he came in, you know what he told me publicly? Hey, stop crying. Oh, you are there. Stop crying. It is the will of God. God said, if you did not take her, you will not fulfill the mission he told you to fulfill. Look, I won't add, I won't subtract. He told me there, he said, he will give you another better helper. I was looking at the man, which is me. If under my hand they shake, I said, make a rush up. I said, this man know what he's saying? This man know what he's saying? What was saying? It was last week, I recall. When I went to his house, alone, I knock at his house, one evening time, to pray for him. He never believed I was the one. When I went there, I said, it is Rita Bai. He said, Rita Bai. My son, come in here. He opened the door, he saw me. We hug each other. He never remembered that. God told me that. He uses man like you and I to lecture you, no matter how talented you are. No matter how powerful you are, you can still be tempted. And you can still be corrected. Today, Kai, even a, a blind man can see the glaring of the church, of the companies, of everything. Before you do anything, sir, ask, is it your will? Sir, with humility, if food makes people fat, I'll be fatter than this. I eat before, three, four square meal a day. But now, sir, I eat just two but all my clothes are very tight. Food doesn't give joy. You can't buy joy with money. No. What gives joy and fatness of body is peace. Peace. No, no you all know, no, the never pen person will go feel stress me. I'm not being stressed, no. But where your heart is, there your treasure is. And if you are not getting your treasure, do anything, sir. You will never be at peace. My son, Ponsum, say he told my mother when people were telling him, ah, daddy is getting bigger. He told them, no, it's not money. If it's money, we know when daddy has money and he's still having money. He said, it's not money. Peace. That peace that supersedes anything on earth. 
I see that peace locating you. Yeah. Always seek force. Is it the will of God? Don't rush. That business I want to enter, is it the will of God? Don't rush. People are building house, that is why I want to build. No. No. Don't do because people are doing. My prophet built house in three months. I go build them. No. Ask God, how long do you want me to finish projects? Ask him. Don't be in haste. Don't be in haste. Enquire from him first. Father, is this your will? I want to go to Lagos. Others are going to Lagos. Wait. Wait. Empire. I want to do baby's business. Babies, babies, babies business. Children clothes. Children clothes. If they move, it about do and when they No. My star is not your star. Please take your seat. My star is not your star. Ask God, this thing I'm about to join, is it your will? If it's not your will, I am pulling off. I'm doing what? I'm pulling off. Your own will might look nice, but at the end, it will be destruction. I never see the person when they push sugar for your mouth, they reject them. No, that's the truth. Apostle Paul said in the book of Romans 7, 15 to 20, he said, that thing where you want to do, you no know, go fit one. Say, for what I am doing, I do not understand. For what I will to do, that I do not practice. But what I hate, that I do. He said, if then I do what I will not to do, I now agree with the law that it is good. But now, it is no longer I who do it, but sin that dwell in me. For I know that in me, that is in my flesh, nothing good dwells for to will. is what? Present with me. But how to perform what is good? I do not understand. I do not understand. Kai! If Jesus will come to do, if Jesus will come to do the will of his father, who then are we? Everyone is designed, arranged under his will. Always ask God, what is your will for me on this earth? For you to succeed, you must move under his will. Hebrew 10, 9. For you to succeed, it must be under his will. Then he said, behold, I have come to do your will. I have come. I have come. I have come. I have come. I have come to do your will. Oh God, he takes away the first that he may establish the second. I have come to do your will. Everything you must do, first ask him, is it your will? If your wife is nagging, 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 telling you, I will travel, you must not travel, you not go travel, you go go, and you must go, you not go go. Don't look at her capacity of reasoning. You should check yourself first. God, is it your will for me to go? You first ask God, don't a change word. Everybody is looking for his own interests. She might not want have your family to say she is denying you of accessibility of traveling. Don't be nice. 